Hi guys. Hope everyone's doing well. So I am being led today to talk about protection and um, the importance of, of us protecting ourselves and you know and in turn we are protecting our surroundings meaning our friends our family and helpers and you know everything is almost like you know whether you like it or not everything is almost like a domino effect um you know i'll start with like the the bible verse where it says you know god is sending us as a sheep among wolves and you know life is if you picture it is like a domino effect where you know one decision you know affects the other affects the other you know so you have two dominoes you've got like several there's te- you know people tend to line up and that one decision affects this one and you know and you know most ugh, let me just say all the time you know especially if you're a christian is by god's grace that you we are being sustained it's by God's grace that, you know, when we enter into any sort of lion's den, you know, the mouths of, you know, lions are being kept shut. And, you know, I'm just thankful to God for the fact that, you know, he never slumbers nor sleeps. Protection in this time, whether it's physical or spiritual, it is so important and you know my heart is just uh, you know it's just it's just my heart is just around protection god is just keeping me around protection and again for us to have this sermon i know i keep saying it but it's so critical because we're supposed to stay on guard and we are supposed to be be intentional be on purpose in everything we do. Be intentional. Everything, like I said, it's like a domino effect. So we have to be intentional. Our decisions, um, you know, the mistakes sometimes we make. You know, I mean, we can't, I mean, we're not perfect. And we're never going to make perfect mistakes. But even the mistakes we do choose to make, they can be you know, you can go over them. You can go over those mistakes and really review those mistakes. So, you know, when I'm so, when I'm talking about like when I'm talking about mistakes, is like you know, there's certain decisions you have to make in life where, um, yes, it's going to affect the other person. It may be, it may look like a mistake, but let's just call it a mistake. It may not look like a mistake, but sometimes it has to be in that category. Um, you know, I'm gonna leave it there, but I'm gonna. I want us to pray about about protection. I want us to pray about about protection. There's just something about protection that God is soaking. You know, is soaking, is soaking. You know, is soaking into my um my spirit. So you know, let's just pray about protection. You know, if you have any prayer points, just um comment, and then I'll be able to. To, to read it out and everyone can you know everyone will see it and then we can you know just take it up and just pray you know just protection 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 lord we're praying for protection we're praying for protection he hasn't put too many words in my mouth so i'm just gonna pray it's almost like i'm forcing to preach <laughs> but i just want to pray and ask god for protection for us for our loved ones for our friends you know, for, for you know, the, the the environment we're in, for the world, that, you know, those who haven't found God will find him. You know, we don't know how, only God knows. And when he chooses to tell his prophets, he will know exactly what's going on. But then we still beg for his protection. You know, before it comes, you know, before the thing comes, God will prepare us. God will give turn our style of prayer. God will turn our style of prayer into, into a signature of you know armor, shielding us for whatever is coming. So Lord, I'm praying for protection. 
for myself, for my environment, for my own household, protection, for your own household, for people you, you know, people you're about to know, you know, for, you, for your, 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 um, you know, where you live, your state, where, where is God, you know, placing, what, what state, what um, country is God placing on your, your heart right now to pray about? Be led, be led by God. Pray, pray about protection. The Bible says he, 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 um, he keeps his angels charge over us, like they're over us, so they're guarding us. You know, it also says the righteous. You know, the righteous are protected by the angel of the Lord. He, he's with us, the righteous. You know, so God, what are, what are we doing? God, how can we continue to stay within you? The things that are around us, that we have been, you know, taking certain things, um, taking advantage of certain things. Just simple things, just like waking up. Simple things, just the fact that you can just walk outside and smell fresh air without anyone's help. Simple things. We have to thank God for, for, for everything and be grateful in this time. That we God will guard guide our steps and He will protect us in the year 2021. <laughs> So we ask you for the spirit of discernment. We beg, we beg of you, Lord God, so that you have mercy on us. That if we have gone before you in certain situations, Lord, we ask for protection. You know, we ask you to give us the, 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 the guiding light, to be our guiding light. You know, as David would, before he even moved, he would be like, God. Oh, do I, you know, do I do this? Do I do that? Lord, help us to have that type of heart that you said that you loved, that David had. A man after your own heart. So we ask, Lord, that you give us that heart, that David, you know, will not do a thing. Will not do a thing without, without God's approval or without God's say-so. Lord, we ask for protection. We ask for protection in the mighty name of Jesus. Here today, Kisana, day today, now we ask that God will, will shine his light. He will shine his light through us. He will shine his light through us and push, push the darkness away. Push the darkness away that we too can be seen as a light for others to follow and find him. Here today, the Hakisa, protection, protection, protection. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we call forth your protection. You don't know what's coming, but you've put it in your prophet's heart and mouth to pray for protection. We pray for protection. We don't know what's coming, but you, Lord, you know. Lord, you see. You do not stand in time. We ask, we ask for protection that you, we send warring angels round about. Our loved ones, our friends, our helpers, those we're about to know. We ask you to guard our steps, Lord. We ask you to go ahead of us. We ask you to go ahead of us. Everywhere we're supposed to have gone, everywhere we're supposed to be. We ask you to already be there. To order our steps in the mighty name of Jesus. In 2021. We pray for protection. We pray for protection in 2021. We pray for protection. Hold me close. Let your love surround me. 
Lead me near, draw me to your side. Get started in now. And as I wait, I'll rise up like an eagle, and I will soar with you. Your spirit leads me on to the power of your love. Hold me close. Let your love surround me. Bring me near. Draw me to your And as I wait, I'll rise up like an eagle, and I will soar with you. Your spirit leads me on to the power of your love. Okay, so we ask you for protection. We ask you for protection on every side. We ask you for protection going into 2021. Here today, so many have already, you know, been lost. We've lost so many this year. We've lost so many people this year. Lord, we are grateful that you have kept us. But we are asking you, Lord, that in next, you know, as we enter and cross over into the new year, we speak protection in 2021. We speak protection. We send your angels, Lord God, your warring angels forth. Heke Saturday, they had to protect to God, to protect to God in the mighty name of Jesus, to protect and to God that we will see you and we will know it's you. That we will see you and we will know it's you. Lord, you said that even your elite in Mark, the book of Mark, it states that even the elite, God who, God who, who he has called his very own, you know, we'll be tricked by, you know, people that are not really from God. So we ask, Lord, that our steps are ordered. That we're not entering into altars. We are not entering into altars. We are not agreeing and entering into altars. And then looking at our lives and wondering what's going on. Lord, we ask for protection. And even when we mistakenly enter into those altars, Lord, we ask you to protect everything we ask you to protect everything your will for our lives we ask you to hide it to hide us in your secret place we ask you to hide it in the mighty name of jesus we ask you to hide everything that concerns us in your secret place then nothing will move unless you say so you are the god that who opens the door no man can shut and who closes a door no man can open we speak protection. We speak protection, protection. For 2021, we speak in the mighty name of Jesus, protection. Protection, protection, protection. Protection, protection, protection. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord, you have already carried everything. Every curse, you carried it. You carried it on the cross. You died in our place so we don't have to. So anything that concerns us, anything that is speaking death, anything that is speaking death into any situation in our lives, Lord, we rebuke it and we send it back to the senders in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak protection and we speak life. Into 2021, we speak life. We speak life. Into 2021, in the mighty name of Jesus, life. That you breathe the breath of life in our careers in our businesses in the mighty name of jesus in our careers in our businesses in the ministries lord god you have asked us to have whether it be speaking and leading people evangelism just giving food it's not just it's, it's giving an offering as food to others lord we ask you even to protect that those who were supposed to help 
our helpers. We, we, we too were helpers. Lord, protect us and help us to be at the appointed place to help who we're supposed to help. And our helpers too. Let them, Lord, protect them. So they will be at their appointed place at the appointed time to help us. Lord God, and we, we ask you to protect. We ask you to protect and coat us with your love. You know, we ask you to set everything that concerns us on fire. That if that rotten hand of the enemy wants to touch, touch anything, it is set on light. It is set alight and is burned into ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you say we can, you know, you refine us with fire. And we are, we are made gold. So anything that's not of you, Lord, it burns. It, it, it is turned into ashes. It has no choice. That fire, that fire, that fire. We ask that fire to come down, to set our way on light, to set our way on light, to set our way on light, on fire. We set it on fire. We set it on fire, your will for us on Holy Ghost fire. We set it off on fire in the mighty name of Jesus. The enemy will see it and run. The enemy will see it and run. The enemy will see, try and die. It will die and turn into ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. All their plans, their traps that they have laid for us, Lord God, they will run into it. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak life and protection into 2021 into 2021 in the mighty name of jesus we're speaking life and protection we're speaking life and protection in the mighty name of jesus lord it's seeming that it's not going to get any better but we know that even though we are with you we know that we are with you everything is okay everything is possible you have kept us on your way you are hiding us under your wings, Lord God. You are hiding us under your wings and everything that concerns us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask for protection. We ask for protection and guidance. Lord, some of us are confused. Which way are we going? How do I, you know, figure out this financial, this financial, that? Why hasn't God given me this thing in bulk? Like I said, it is in steps. Your faith needs to grow. And in your faith growing, God gives it to you little by little. He can't give it to you all too much. In my last video, I spoke about it like a, like a loaf, a loaf of bread. And that's what Jesus is, bread. So he's giving you bread for you to eat. And he leaves it as little breadcrumbs. You know, the enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. If you take all of the bread, he gives you all the bread at once. He gives you all the bread at once. The enemy will come easily and take everything at once. You know, he gives you all the bread at once. You know, so he gives it to you in little bits. He gives it to you in little bits. He gives it to you in little bits. He gives it to you in little bits, in little bits. And the beautiful thing about it, let them try and take it. Let them try and take what is yours. They have to return it back sevenfold. Sevenfold. Sevenfold, meaning they are worse off than they originally started. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, the manna, the manna comes in bits. What did, they, what did God do? He sent manna and it was only great for that day. You could only eat it. You could not keep it for the next day. So like David, what are we saying? What is today? The daily bread. Daily bread, not a bread that will last off, you know, for a month. Monthly bread, no. Your daily bread. Your daily bread. Your daily bread. Lord, we ask you to give us our daily bread. Our daily bread for that day. That our faith will be required for the next day. And the next day after that. And the next day after that. And the next day after that. That's how it works. He cannot give you, you know, the whole manner. Why? You'll now hold everything. You know, let's not even talk about the enemy now. Let's talk about how we will behave. We will take everything and be like, okay, we start doing it by our power.
by our power. We will take everything and do it by our power. But him saying, you know, I give you the daily bread, you know, you know, he gives you the daily bread. Every day you are expectant of him. Every day you are expectant of him. What is it today? How best do I move? How best do I go about this, God? How best, God, do I move? Lord, I'm asking today for the daily bread. What is your direction for today? Who do I avoid? Who do I speak to? Where am I supposed to be? Simple as where do I post? Where do I promote who I am? Whatever that you've asked me to, 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 to promote, whatever mandate you've put in my heart, where am I supposed to be? Not just for yourself, but for that other person that's there. Like I said, it's a domino effect. It's a domino effect. Lord, we continue to pray. And we continue to block ourselves from every monitoring spirit. Those who are smiling at us. Those who are smiling at us and sent by the, the agents of the devil. Sent by the agents of the devil. To harm, to kill and destroy. Lord, we ask you to harm and to kill and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, your word says you fight against those who fight against us. Those monitoring spirits. Those monitoring spirits in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask by your power that they are made ashamed. That they are made ashamed. That everywhere they go, everyone will know who they are and what they do. That whatever tool that they're using to disguise who they are, that that tool will not be used will not be useful and when they step into the room everybody the shame that they're hiding Lord it will be revealed those who said that they have chosen to fight against you your word and the kingdom of God we ask you now Lord to bring down those walls of Jericho in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord's putting on my heart that He's saying that you're monitoring this young lady. He's monitoring, you're monitoring this young lady. Your heart, you do not mean well. And the word says, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. So whatever mandate you have come with, we are asking you to leave with it now in the mighty name of Jesus. The angel of the Lord of his mighty and deadly sword, it will soon visit your home. It will soon visit your home. You have decided to monitor this young lady, you have decided. And what God is going to do to you now, you will not be able to recover. God just told me to leave, but I'll I'll be back on next Monday. Okay, Saturday, pray for protection. Not everything around you is what it seems. They are monitoring spirits. They are monitoring spirits, and God is gonna use the powerful and deadly sword to cut off every neck of that Levitos dragon spirit that has come out of the river. And he's going to give us its flesh to eat in the mighty name of Jesus. Hold on to God, protect, pray for protection, protection, protection in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, pray for protection. Okay, I'm off now. Bye guys.